Good morning. Today is our uh, Wednesday, November 29, 2023, and it's a third trading day of this week. And uh, we are waiting for the GDP data release at um, 8.30 Eastern Time, and now it's uh, a 29, so it's one more minute. Let's chill out and see how it's gonna react at 8.30, so it's 8.29 now. Um, let's see what is the Let's wait. They have a consensus right here. The consensus is 49. So let's see. 4.9. For quarter of a quarter. Four point nine is a good number. That means the economy is growing. Wow, wow, you see? Wow, 30 now. Hmm. So the initial move is down and then it's up. See that? The first minute, let's see how to finish the first minute. very interesting right here well if you do the four break hour heat wow so four fifty seven wow 57, three more points is gonna be, um, I mean, three more points is gonna hit the, oh, so far it's very solid right now. If we look at the four hour time frame, yeah, I think if it break out, uh, it look like it break, <coughs> it break out uh, the key level. So the GDP data is, is not really huge like uh, FOMC decision, right? It kind of medium impact news. Yeah, the, we can do the four breakout right here, right there at the level. For fifty seven forty two. Yeah, at the four breakout. If we do that, then our risk gonna be about twenty cent or so. That means we put a sell stop here. Yes. Yeah, that's beautiful setup. You see the level, entry level, and this is the auto block right there, break threat level. It make it look like it's gonna be breakout, but it's a four breakout. It 
is very uh, level. We, we, we usually call it turtle soup, but now I call it break out right now. Mm. Yeah, I think it's beautiful instead of whenever you see the break out level and you see a huge candle paint through that, especially up close candle. And especially we see it's a nice setup to short, right? Because the London high take out the bright day high and then the free market new NY New York free market take out London high. So it's a beautiful setup for short right there. So the volatility is not much with this uh, GPD news, so it's kind of um, medium or low impact, you know, like high impact, like FOMC meeting or CBI data. But let's see. So we are, hold on, wow we see a long wick candle ring. So if we look at the 4 hour time frame, we see the breakout level right here and right now it looks like um, it's going to break that level, you see, open up. It glows above that level. Let's see today how it play out. Play out. Yes, yeah, similar view when we look on the daily time frame. This is the key, you know, breakout level right here. Yeah, right here. You remember on July, the end of July. It break out that level, but it's a four break out. See, three day later, it's still within this auto block right here. This is uh, this is a uh, bearish auto block. In this case, a down close candle is supposed to be up close candle for bearish auto block. But in this case, special case, I remember that, and um, we kind of hesitant to go short right there. It will be a perfect setup if they're gonna be the up close. Product is is down close, right strand. And then three day after that is is within inside bar and then boom, it drop. Oh got the second. What day is that?
Yeah, I got the second is a a Wednesday. Yes. Tuesday and Wednesday drop, man. You will catch that movie. Wonderful. But anyway, not much movement after this, about 10 minutes after data release. I mean, it created a long week right here. That's all we, we can tell. So get a big range, right? Um, it's about $2.14 range right there. Anyway, we will be back. <coughs> at the uh, 8 30 open uh, talk to you soon all right we now back to the opening at 8 30 so last uh the first 10 minutes or so we watched the gb data release and the huge you know range but it's um after that it's not really moving much about two dollar range right there yep so let's see how it's play out in the regular trading in the pre-market is after the video release you see it going to the range right there and we identify this level is a breakout level so if it a four breakout is gonna be below this, but if above this, it's gonna be a two breakout right there. Uh, for the GDP uh, data, is 5.2, so it's above the expectation. A very big number right there. So let's see how the market react to this. So today is open five four fifty seven. 15 yesterday is closed at 4 uh 50 488 right yeah 5488 and 5750 so it's like um three dollar move is gonna be 88 right here right but it's less than that so uh, 15 minus uh, 18 so 7 5 minus 7 and then uh, 11 minus 9 so 27 so $2.27 so today is 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 open two dollar twenty seven above yesterday close. Wow, so it's a pre break out right there. We can go in and go long right here. It, it break out, so go long. If it four break out, then we show them again. But this is break out. We're allowed to re-entry. Remember, we modify, but we're not gonna do that rule for this year. We we uh, just try to keep uh, the same rule we have. Just um, one trade, one entry. There's no re-entries uh, until next year. We're gonna modify that uh, rule, right? So that's our plan. Well, look on the daily time frame, it looks very bullish now.
right. Over here, you break through that level. The level that we're looking for. Break our level right there. 456, 43. Yeah, so it's very bullish right there. Amazing. Very, very bullish right there. Let's see. Four fifty seven now. All right, so we see it's break out this level right here. I mean, this level is the key on the high time frame. So it's looks very, very bullish right now. And when it opened today, it opened above this level, this key level on the, you know, on the high time frame, on daily time frame or four hour time frame, you can see that this level right here, right, I mean right here, 46, 43, it opened above that. Yesterday, the shoes, you know, around this level, now it's jumped there. So it's very bullish right there, and it just um, 57. So this one is um, 59. So about two dollar twenty something, it will reach the the high of uh, this year. That's amazing. Look at that. That the high of this year. So this is gonna be the high of the year. Or something else. So let's see how it's going from here. I mean, from yesterday glow until today is a huge move two dollars something move so it it is to have a uh, momentum up to rally up more or it's gonna be a replacement you see that the huge move from you know uh, yesterday close And the market give it a little bit signal right here when it, you know, pop up very strong around 10.30 yesterday. Make a huge move, $2, and then it retracement all the way. Just to take that buy side, uh, sell side really, and then it start rally up. So it give it a signal right there, they're gonna rally. So whoever detect this signal go along right here we make you know a uh, handsome money right here and two dollar right there and they can exit right here to so make a big uh you know capture a big move right here let's say we someone's you know uh long right here then right here a four dollar move right there wow that's amazing Ooh. Four dollar move.
All right, I make a new high again. All right, if we want to try to do the four breakout, uh, I think we should wait in the PM section, or at least after 10.30. Don't try anything right here, just short them. It's amazing is after this break array here you're gonna retest this you know I see the concepts called breaker right here it retest it breaker see fellow gap breaker fellow gap retest right here that the setup right there see that is the breaker and the fellow gap wow we didn't see that fellow gap right here you see and a breaker so it's a bullish signal right here. Yep, let's let document this right here. So we have the breaker. So what I got? Retest. Yep. So it's a. Whenever we see this, it's a trend following trade, right? Long setup, and this is a trend follow trade uptrend, right? Yeah, that's the perfect setup right there. Yeah, we have every condition, right? First, we have a strong Strong up move right there. That's the condition we have. Right in this case is um, is uh, strong up move. We will quantify right uh, you know later. I think it's from yeah we quantify later. It's strong up move. Maybe. If on 60% or $4 move, $3 move right there. It's a like a 3, 2, uh, or 4 move right there. That's the condition. And then we, when we see this setup, we see the fabric of and uh, bullish breaker then we can go in the entry time in this case is 0944 well our stop lot gonna be um, at the breakout level right there which is 457 42 
so this is the breaker and this is the fabric that right here So the height of this is uh, 460 Right, let's look at the So the height of this year is July 27 and it's a high uh, It should be 459 So right now it's 458 Wow, it's amazing run That's a huge move. So it's uh, just a dollar thirty some cent above the, the high of the year. Let's see, gonna reach that level today or maybe tomorrow or this week. Yep. Wow, we missed that move. Look at that. Someone really unload, make profit, lot in profit right there. 1002. Wow, look at that.
So we, if we go in right there, I think we get stop out right here. 10 of 2 right there. That's the lesson we learned today. Wow, look like gonna come it down. So this level gonna be four break out right here. You see that? That's the four break out. Beautiful. Beautiful my friend. So it gonna be fifty eight. Yep, 58 right here. Wow, look at that. Boom. Man. Beautiful. We start identify the level right there. Right now, we start seeing better now. Just, you know, take time for it to catch up to process the uh, information so it's used to be called you know uh, total shop right we just call break out now break out entry that's it that is it uh yeah i think we don't need to call label just say entry right you um you entry short along right if it's if, if you want to see the reversal then you uh, you enter it long if it's moving down but if and vice versa so Wow, that's a beautiful setup and 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 man, as soon as I pop up here, we put a cell stop right here. Yeah, and look at this, ten oh two, man, opportunity everywhere. Yes, ten oh two. And look at this 36 right here 10.02 let mark this guy is 10.02 now we do the arrow uh, hmm.
channel 2 so Yeah, this is anchor table, I mean anchor candle first. With a nice set of salt right there because it's run up so much, right? Six minutes. And then go here another 20 minutes or so because it's 10 or 2 boom coming down beautiful so basically we have so-called turtle soup or for breakout right Break out. Uh, short set. Boom. Hey. Yep. And the stop loss, you know, the reach we were right? so right? we reach uh, how many cent? So fifty seven for bit is ninety nine. So one more cent is gonna be fifty eight. So it's thirty three cent. And look down here, wow, we have 46, uh, we, we want to fire it, just M for uh, how much, M for 57, 15, right there. Oh, oh at this level right here, wow, look at it, they can come down here, so... Uh, the target gonna be uh, let's go with 56.43 so 53.43 right so it's a one dollar right one dollar and 56 cents it's one dollar and 56 cents that mean is that one two three yeah one two three so at least one two two um three it is one two five actually it's going to go to four for now so that's a good ritual ratio first right there uh so the target is four fifty six for three, yep. So this is our anchor candle right here, and here's our entry right here, and here our target right there. So basically it a total shop so set up the 
and return me 10 or 2 later. Yeah, let's see, hit it level. Is it reasonable to hit that level? This level? Yeah, it reasonable. Let's see. See the huge move down? I think it's not finished. The move down. I think it needs another less move, another leg down right there. Leg down right there. So if we go in right here, okay, so the stop loss. Remember we tried to do 18 cent. We tried to do breaker, follow up, retest, right there. So if we let it run, then that will be too much, right? Because it's already run up four dollar. You're not gonna expect to run up more. So if we f do this trade, we have to tighten the the what the stop loss. Um, we tighten the stop loss very um, very aggressively.
Yeah, it hit our target. It hit yet. 43, 46, not yet. Come on. Yes, yes, ooh. Oh, I see. You remember uh, when we have, we have, I believe that when the new release and we mark the high of low of this, wow. And um, wait for it to take the buy side, then it's gonna go take a sell side. Wow, we remember that now. Yeah, I think we did that. We did see that pattern before. We have to look at our lock to see where do we see this pattern. That when the new release mark the high and the low and then wait for it to take the buy side of pretty um, around 10, then you can uh, go short it's gonna take the buy side, uh, sell side really right there. But anyway, our target is hit right here. Beautiful hit right here. So we in the trade only 18 minutes and we make $1.57 something. That's amazing. So I got hit at 10, 20. Beautiful. One, two, four, Richter or Rachel, Rachel, but we have four R right there. Ooh. Eighteen minutes.
So it's break down that level right there. That's a huge sell off. Very quick, very fast. So whoever um, manipulate this move or engineer this move, um, they have a huge um, liquidity or huge uh, capital in order to you know try to put the price the price up. Uh, in order to make a, a very substantive sell right there. They make the huge money right there. Look at that. So the um, right close yesterday fifty four all the way up here. Man, look at that. Look at that move. Right. Let's see. We hoof over on way and it's in the right. So right there you see it's a three dollar move right there. And at this moment around ten, so it's a good setup for you right there. Uh, to short the breakout, the fall breakout right there. You see that? Yep. Yeah, this is condition for to short, all right? Because the huge jump. That's why we're gonna do the four breakout at uh, four fifty seven nine nine right there. Let's check quick screenshot again. Because we already take the. The zoom in, you know, uh, perspective is a little bit zoom out a little bit, and you can see the reason. So it's a total shift, um, right? Uh, short setup. And uh, entry is 457.99. The reason or the condition, right? Reason for entry is that uh, mm. How do we quanti quantify this? Okay, how about we say a seven forty percent equivalent with three dollar okay, thirty six up move, and now we just uh, watch for the momentum ship. I said. Right, how do we know the momentum ship, the train ship? Mm. Well, we just identify the level for 47 and put right there. We don't use any indicator. We may use other indicators to see momentum ship. But we identify a low risk setup right there. We don't have answer for how do we do that right now. We just use our discretionary, um, use our eyeball right there. Uh, but later on, we need to want quantify that. You know, we use any measure of momentum shift right there. If we want it to turn into a mechanic system, 
But for now, we just use discretionary right there with the rule, right? That when we see the low risk setup, to take it. If 50 50 percent, we still win because the move, the property for uh, for the move up, for the move down is very high. Uh, not 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 property, but it's the the substantive move, the magnitude of the move, right? If we got it right, the magnitude of the move will be higher than, will be more than the move up because the move up is already exhausted, so. Well, so basically when we see that, we, we say that uh, momentum, right? I'm gonna ship ready to ship that's our expected right because we want to capture the move right we are trend follower right we see the trend gonna move on a ship that's an idea and also the the time when it make an, the you know New high, right? New high at around ten. So that the good, good, um, good time of the day, right there. Time of the day. So that that the two reason we see that, right? Yep. Yeah, so that's our reason for entry day there. See that? Oh, so this could uh, be a good level right there. It's gonna be a four breakout level right there. So a good buy stop right here. Let's see, it's gonna be. Yeah, it does look like. I think it may go down here a level. Remember, one of the rule, one of the condition we monitor that when it uh, the data release. Hold on, let me go back, let me go back and look at the, the journal, I think we did capture that. I think last time it happened when the FOMC, FOMC meeting minute release. We, we are still looking in our database, our, our documentation. I think we see this setup before. Basically, it take the buy side, then it's going to come down and take the sell side right here. But let's see if today will be a exception. At OMC, I think we saw that um, somewhere. We put note right here is the GDP, right? Where is our FOMC meeting? Oh, okay.
so the trick is that when we trade with uh, discretionary, is is it feel like um, very subjective, right? It based on our subjective, you know, decision making. It look like our decision making is based on, um, you know, random, right? Something like that. But that's the process we have to go through, right? We have to go through with the... Everybody go through that first. You cannot automate a system right off the bat. You have to observe and test them, right? Which is exactly discretionary in there. And then you see that, you will... Um, you will computerize, you automate it, you will be, you turn into a mechanic system. And that's the process that everyone go through. With that, we help you to understand an in and out of your, your system, your setup, your methodology. So we are 35. Well, uh, from five minute time frame, is uh, look uh, bearish. You see that the huge down move right here from the uh, the DR high to the DR low. It, it's a giant move down right there. However, it not break down below the London low yet. So let's see. But our next target is going to be least level at um, 455.49 right there. Yes, set the level that uh, the buy sell liquidity right there. Uh, uh, sorry, we mean sell sell liquidity. That the sell sell liquidity. All right, it's whip this buy sell liquidity right here. That one right there. This is the buy sell liquidity. Wait for it to rip that buy side. It did, right? It did take this buy sell liquidity and make a new high. Then we mark the entry level right here. You see, it break through that. It look like gonna be a breakout, right? That's where we put our sell stop short right there. And when it comes down, it carry our our um, order. And we now it never looked back at this level. So we have a huge advantage right there. We are in the money right away and it will never go again our level. So this is a very reliable setup right there. Hold on, this is a one minute. Yeah, this is a five minute right here. Yeah, in the end of the video today, we're gonna uh, look into this pattern again. We, we did have the record of this pattern when a um, medium impact news release we mark the buy side and the sell side 
and if we saw it rate the buy side that we short them especially around 10 ish you know 10 o'clock ish right and we short them yep we're gonna show them and if we wait all the way here let's say if, if take this uh, sell side then we can uh, go long that's an idea but let's see if we're gonna make another leg down right here or it's gonna be stop make a you see right here it can be a uh, breakout level right here a fall breakout right there or it's gonna be a real breakout let's see you see the level yep let's see well, it looks like it's gonna be, uh, it, it's, it's gonna, let's see, the low of this one, 450, 30. Yep, see that? If we drill down to the detail level, that is the 456, 30 right there. However, we see a four um the what the fair weather gap right here. So let's see. So anyway, I think it's already uh, we passed our time one hour. So we gotta wrap up right here and talk to you later in the afternoon in the end of the review. And I think we have a wonderful time. We are grateful for the opportunities and thank you for your time and interest. Talk to you later. Bye for now.